Yo! Now, as you can see, I've got my hands on the Age of Apocalypse Wave. Uh, found someone in New Zealand who sells these at a half decent price, so super stoked about that. Uh, but as we all know, in this wave, we got Beast, X Man Nate Gray, Sunfire, Wolverine, Jean Gray, Wild Child, uh, the Builder Figure Sugar Man, and Morph. So I've also got in here the Toy Biz Age of Apocalypse Sabretooth, the Caliban Wave Blink, a custom magneto I made using the Onslaught head, and the Toy Biz Apocalypse, which I thought this one would be the best one to fit into this collection at first, but seeing as we're getting the proper Age of Apocalypse Apocalypse, um, I will definitely be putting that in. So I wish that had come out same time as this wave but looks like we'll be waiting a few months for that the only figure that i don't have in here with these guys that exists is the holocaust builder figure which i was thinking of getting but seeing how hasbro likes to re-release their builder figures um i thought i might wait till the next wave or two to see if it comes out again because that figure definitely needs an update i think it's got those uh, ball joint hips and things like that so would prefer a modernized version of that figure first but yeah I suppose let's look at these a bit more close up so starting off with Grey Beast this one straight off the bat has such a better head sculpt than the one we got with the blue one uh, this one just has so much more detail and more resembles Beast I think than the other one uh, they do both share most of the same body parts, uh, with of course the difference being the legs and the pants. Um, but we are getting this same body mold again uh, shortly with the Grey Beast that's coming out on the Retro Pack. So that one will be coming out shortly. But overall, I'd say that this Dark Beast is a better version than the blue one we got currently. And so next we have Nate Gray, or X-Man. Now this is essentially Cable, how he appeared in the AOA alternate reality. Um, we haven't had him in this version before. He's a bit younger and doesn't have the Technovirus. So it's good to be getting these, these additional figures out. Now he is lacking in the accessory department. Hasn't come with any... Apart from the eyepiece, that doesn't come off, but that is quite a nice look for this figure. But I think most of these figures are lacking in the accessory department due to Sugar Man being so large. And so now we have Wolverine. And it wouldn't be an X-Men wave without yet another Wolverine to go on our shelves. But I am glad we got this one. I had considered getting the Toy Biz version when I got the Sabretooth, but assumed that we would be getting another version of this Wolverine. So I'm glad I held out for that. Now, we did get an accessory with this figure. We've got the claw hand. I do prefer the stump version. Um, and they have done, I think, a really good job on this face mold. Uh, the hair for this in particular um, is really good. So, yeah, glad to be putting this one on my shelf with the rest of them. Now, Jean, I think, is definitely one that was lacking in the accessory department as well. She didn't have any accessories at all. I'm, they barely fit her into the packet with the Sugar Man head. Um, but, I mean, Wild Child had quite a few, quite a bit of space. In his packet, he could have just had all the accessories for all the other figures in with him. I'm sure that would have worked. But um, yeah, I'm stoked that they put her into this wave. She was one that I really wanted to go on the shelf. So, um, And this body, I think, would be also perfect for making uh, Frenzy. Um, 
been looking to do a custom for her, so I think I'll be buying a second one of this to be making that figure. And of course we got Morph. Not the Morph everyone's been wanting. But Morph all the same. So yeah, he's just the basic body on um, with a new head. Um, I think I might also buy a second one of him uh, to paint the cape red and put onto the custom Magneto that I made for this wave just to make that a bit more authentic. I didn't want to paint the original wave of that Magneto because I'll plan to use him later on. And this is just a generic body that can be used for quite a few figures. So yeah, no, he's good. I'm happy to have him on the shelf as well. Now, Wild Child was one of the few in this wave to get an accessory. Um, it came with the, the chain that wraps around his neck. So, yeah, it's good to have the Sabretooth to go along with him as well. But, yeah, you can almost guarantee that we will be getting an updated version of this if they do a second wave, which I'm pretty sure that they will. So, yeah, I'll be looking out for that figure. But um, other than that, there's not too much to Wild Child. He does have pretty nice head sculpt there. Other than that, yeah, basic body. Um, some of those pieces, hands and feet, could be good for using on some custom figures. So, hmm. Now, I was a bit gutted when I saw we were getting another Sunfire because we did already have the Sunfire from the uh, Fans Choice winner back in the day um, but I mean but again they have vastly improved on this figure as you'd expect um, and I wasn't too gutted because this figure isn't actually going to go onto my Age of Apocalypse shelf uh, I'm gonna leave this one on there and instead this Sunfire is going to be joining Apocalypse as one of the horsemen so I've been wanting to fill in another horseman on for this shelf so yeah this is the perfect opportunity to do that and lastly we have sugar man the builder figure now yeah i don't know what there's not to like about this builder figure um this is just huge and yeah they did such a good job getting it into the packaging um may even be my new favorite Hasbro builder figure. It was always Blob, but now I think, yeah, I think we have a new winner. Just the detail and the size of this builder figure is pretty amazing. And yeah, if this is an example of what they can do, um, yeah, looking forward to what other builder figures we get in the future. So before I finish, I'm uh, just going to have a look at some of the new additions I've got since my last video, which isn't too many. Um, I have added these extra new mutants, Magic and Magma. Now I'd seen someone had made this custom Magma before and I quite liked the idea. So I got myself a few more Danny Moonstar figures to make these two. And then also use the same body mold to have a go at making armor. So yeah, using that same body, I used uh, one of the heads from the Stepford Cuckoos. And then in my box of accessories that I've got, I found this red hand that her hand fits in nicely. Now, I have no idea where this hand came from uh, and even how it got into my box, but it does work the part for armor, um, I think. Um, if anyone knows what this is of, please let me know because I'd love to get um, some more of those pieces to see if I can stick more onto her. But yeah, that's my, that's my first attempt at making an armor. 
So that's just a quick update from me and my thoughts on the Age of Apocalypse wave. Um, I do have another delivery on its way with the likes of uh, the Black Storm on the retro card. So once I get that, I will be doing another video as well on those figures. Um, but until then, yeah, like and subscribe. And of course, leave a comment and let me know what you think. Cheers.